In this lesson, we'll continue our review of Math Test 9, Section 4, Calculum Permitted. We're now on questions 21 through 24. Let's take a look at the first one, 21. The graph of the exponential function h in the xy plane, where y equals h of x, has y-intercept of d, where d is a positive constant. Which of the following could define the function h? So remember, when you're graphing or you're identifying, in this case, the y-intercept, you do that by setting the x equal to 0. And we're told the y-intercept, when we set it to 0, is just going to be d, and d is positive. And so if we plug in 0, so here, anything to the 0 power is 1, but this would be negative 3. So we obviously want positive d, so this is out. And both of these, you see, if you plug in a 0, um, the whole thing's going to be 0, so these are both wrong. How about d? Anything to the 0 power is 1, and this is going to be just 1d, and d is positive, and that's what we're looking for, so the answer is d. Let's take a look at 22. The weight in pounds for 15 horses in a stable were reported, and the mean, median range, and standard deviation for the data were found. The horse with the lowest reported weight was found to actually weigh 10 pounds less than its reported weight. What value remains unchanged if the four values are reported using the corrected weight. And so originally we had a group of horses, and assuming all of the horses' weights were accurate, except for the lowest horse, the um, lowest weighing horse, and that weight is actually 10 pounds less. You should be able to recognize right away the one data observation that's not going to change is the, the, the distribution order, right? The median is not going to change because the lowest got even lower. So this was already at the end, so it doesn't really change the distribution, but the average would certainly change because we're adding 10 fewer pounds, the range would be 10 uh, greater because it's extended, and the standard deviation because this now this weight is farther from the mean. So the range here, if you just know your um, terms for uh, data, this one wasn't too difficult. So the answer is C. Let's take a look at the next one, 23. Near the end of a US cable news show, the host invited viewers to respond to a poll on the show's website and asked, do you support the new federal policy discussed during the show? At the end of the show, the host reported that 28% responded yes and 70% responded no, which of the following best explains why the results are unlikely to represent the sentiments of the population of the United States. You should know right away without even looking at the answers, that this is a flawed sample. Because for a sample to be an accurate representation of the population, it has to be random, it has to be a fair cross-section. They're only asking people who were watching this cable news show. So first of all, not everyone watches cable news or has cable, but also just think about what about the show itself? What if it were like Fox News, where only a certain demographic who has cable watches it? So certainly not representative of the general population. Let's take a look at the choices. The percentages do not add up to 100%, so any possible conclusions from the poll are invalid. That doesn't really make any sense. We're, we're looking for an answer that says it's not a cross-section. It's not an accurate representation of the population. Those who responded to the poll were not a random sample of the population of the US. This is definitely the right answer. You could predict this before even looking at the choices. All right, last one on this page, number 24. If f of x equals 5x squared minus 3 and f of x plus a equals 5x squared plus 30x plus 42, what's the value of a? So here we have to solve for a. We have the function just f of x and then f of x plus a. So what we can do, remember with any function, is instead of an x, we have a single x. We can make this f of x plus a. So I'm just doing this one on the left side. Why am I doing this? You might ask, because we already have f of x plus a, it's going to be an equivalent form, but then we can solve for a, right? We don't have enough information to, just if we use this to solve for it. So we're making another version of f of x plus a. And so whenever we see an x, we're plugging, right, this whole quantity now, it's going to be x plus a squared minus 3. Remember, we have to FOIL this out. So I'm just going to do it without the 5. That's going to be x squared, that's going to be plus ax plus ax, which is plus 2ax plus a squared. So this is just the FOIL part. Now I'm going to multiply it by the 5, and that yields 5x squared plus 10a 
x plus 5a squared. And then we have this minus 3 as well I have to tack on. And this is going to be equal to this. All right, now the reason I did this, if you watch these videos I've talked, they ask this question a lot with polynomials with different degree terms. We know that both of these are equivalent. This here, and this is another version. And we just have to solve for a. So first of all, the 5x squareds cancel out. There's no a in either of these, so they're completely irrelevant. The only place we have an a, I'll use a different color here, is here, and that's an x. And this is a secondary term, so we don't pay attention to that. And this is a constant. And so here. So all you have to recognize is that these are the only two like terms. So 10ax must equal 30x. And so a then is just going to be 3, and that's the answer. So again, don't pay attention to all this other information. These are just equivalent forms. And a lot of students say, well, wait a minute. What about the rest of it? And if you want to prove the rest of it, I'll show you. So remember, these are already the same. These are the same. These I just made the same. We found that a is, is 3. Now we can plug in. We've got an a here. So 3 squared is 9. And times 5 is 45 minus 3. You see how it equals negative. Oh, that's a positive. Positive 42 here. So again, if you, if you understand how they test these questions, just pay attention to that first degree term, and you can make it a lot simpler.